This video is going to show you how to create a survey to go in your course at the beginning of the school year to kind of see where your kids are. With fourth nine weeks being the way it uh, was set up, we don't really know uh, what our kids took in and you just may want to see what all they soaked in or maybe just from their entire uh, school year just to kind of see where your kids are. So I'm going to show you how to make a survey that's ungraded and then I'm going to show you how to look at the statistics of it. Uh, it's going to give you a little bar graph to show you overall all of your students what it looks like percentage wise um, as to what they know. All right so you're going to go into your module and you're going to make a new quiz by clicking this plus sign over here and you're going to hit your drop down menu and click quiz. You need to name it something. Um, we're going to name it what I have learned. Make sure you publish it. If you don't publish it, they're never going to see it. All right, so we're going to go to what I have learned and let's go edit some settings. Click edit. All right, so right now the first thing I want to notice, want you to notice is where it says quiz type, where it says graded quiz. Let's change that to ungraded survey. Ungraded survey. This isn't going in the grade book. This is for you to know. So ungraded survey. Uh, something else I just thought about. You may want to go up here and say, um, this is for me. All right, so this is just to let them know, uh, you know, that it's not going in the grade book and that honesty is really a big deal here. All right, so you went down here and you did your ungraded survey. Um, click this arrow right here to let them see their quiz responses, incorrect questions, blah, blah, blah. There are no incorrect uh, answers. Nothing is right, nothing is wrong. So unclick that because you don't want them to be like, Oh my gosh, she said this wasn't graded. No, it, you're right, it's not graded. So you don't want this clicked right here. Make sure this is unclicked. You don't want anything clicked right here. Um, a due date, it's always good to have a due date just so um, that students know when to start and when to stop. So make sure you have a due date there and a, a time of when it should start, okay? Now let's go up and work on some questions real quick. These were your details you just did. Let's go up and type some questions. Click new question. Um, and I know you may set up your math equations differently from this, but it's just an example. And we're not asking them to solve it. We just want to know if they know how. Now look, see right here how there's four boxes for possible answers? These are just yes, no questions. So I need you to go in here and hit this garbage can right here. Boop, make it go away. Boop. And then click this blue button right here, update question, so it'll save your question. All right, let's go in and do a new question real fast. Um, on another video, I'm going to show you a better way to set up fractions, but for this particular video, I'm going to do it this easy way. All right, make sure you click update question. And let's do one more just to be happy. New question. Oh, let's do this real fast. See right here where it says question? Let's put what the question is about. This one is going to be about, uh, let's see, something you guys learn about. Um, odd and even numbers. Let's just say uh, even odd numbers. Okay. I know 
that this number is in, I'm, let's say I know that may be beneath uh, what you teach or above, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to give you an example here. All right, and then click Update Question. I'm gonna go back up here and just make a little edit real quick. See right here where it just says Question, Question, and right here how it says Even Odd Numbers? I just like how it shows you what the question is about. So up here, see where it says Question? I'm gonna click Fraction. I'm gonna type in Fractions. Click Update Question down here. And over here to this one, go over here and find this pencil. Click it. And let's do, let's change this title of question to equation. And click update question. All right, so now you have your three questions. You may do a 10 question thing, whatever floats your boat over whatever material you wanna know about them. Now nothing's going to work out for you unless you click save. All right, so here's your um, everything that you've set up. This is what it would look like for them. You can always click preview just to kind of see what it's going to look like for the kids. This is what their first question would look like. This is what their second question would look like. And their third question. And then they would submit it. All right, so how do we see the results, you say? All right, so let me show you how they are going to see, or how you are going to see their results. Um, I made up another one previously, it's just so you can see what a student's results would look like. Go to your quiz that you have created. This is the one we just created. This is the one I made previously. So you go to your quiz. And we're gonna go over to where it says survey statistics. Survey statistics. Click that. And it's gonna sit here and think about it for a minute. And then it goes into a question breakdown. I had two pretend students come in and take my quiz. Um, out of my two kids that I asked, I know fractions, both of them said yes. So let's assume that I had a class of 30 people. Out of those 30 people, everybody knows fractions, so that would be a success, and I would know that I didn't need to spend an exorbitant amount of time reviewing fractions with them because they know fractions. But then when I went down and looked at this equation, uh-oh, only 50% of my class understood this equation. So since only 50% of my class understands equations, I'm going to need to go back and work on equations before I move on to this year's material because that's kind of some, some stuff we got to make sure they understand how to do this. And then when it comes to geometric shapes, it looks like uh, they may need some help with geometric shapes. Now this shows you the people that understood the geometric shapes. Now, they said that they understood these geometric shapes. You know, they may not always be honest, but they said they understood it. So you kind of have to take that as a, and so now you may be like, oh, well, who said they didn't understand this equation? Well, go click on this. Uh-oh, this student is the one who was honest and said she did not understand equations. That's the way to break that down so you know who might need some extra help with that. So I hope this helps you today to learn how to make a survey so that you can find out what your kids know coming in and uh, you know help let them know that you want to know you want to help them and you can see your statistics at the end let me know if you need me sberry at madison-schools.com